Some e-learning courses use the quiz tool. Again, the quiz tool might be found in the nav bar. You might come across a quiz embedded within the content, or you might access it from my work and quizzes. To open a quiz that you want to do, you're going to click on the link in your quiz list. Each teacher is going to set up quizzes differently. If there's any instructions about a time limit, for example, they would provide that here. This quiz doesn't have a time limit and it allows the student one attempt, which means I can try it one time. Before I submit the quiz, it says that I'll have the opportunity to return to questions that I might have missed or not answered. I can submit the quiz at any time, and then I'm going to click Start Quiz. When I open up the quiz, the questions should load. If you ever get bumped out of the quiz, for example, your internet crashes or something like that, you will be able to pop back into the quiz. Just log in again as soon as your internet reconnects and you'll be able to pick up where you left off. The quiz should make a memory or it should save your progress of what you've done so far in the quiz. As you come across the questions, you can type, if it's a text-based quiz, you can type inside the boxes. And if it's a multiple choice quiz or something like that, you would simply select the, the answers. Once you're ready to submit, you're going to click Submit Quiz. It gives me the warning that I have seven unanswered questions and I'm going to submit it anyway. But if you wanted to, if you got that kind of warning, you can always go back. Once you have submitted a quiz successfully, you will see this confirmation message, message that says that your work has been saved and submitted. Many teachers will choose to review quiz results before giving you the answers or giving you your results. If they choose to do that, you'll see this pending evaluation response here. Once your teacher has evaluated your quiz, you will see a grade in your quiz list. If the quiz is set to auto grade, you'll see your mark here right away. When you click done, if you wanna see what your mark was after the fact, you should always be able to access that in your quiz list. So you can see here that I've now completed activity nine test. I've made one attempt, and once I see a mark there, once my teacher has evaluated this, I will see a grade in the evaluation status.